Hey everybody, what's up? This is Retro Character Reviews. Wishing I had time to do character stuff that I was planning to do for the uh, Venom uh, related uh, video for that final trailer that dropped last week. So um, yeah, I'll just get this out of the way. This is my quick thoughts with the whole Noel announcement and the fact that he might show up either as a postcard or maybe the actual villain for Venom The Last Dance. Uh, weird. Also, sorry for the stencil or whatever the um, I'm not good at thin stashes, just saying right now, but again, the beard is holding it down. I think I've said that with uh, uh, IRL uh, friends and family throughout this week. So, on to the last ass, uh, trailer itself. Uh, again, general stuff everyone has seen uh, for the final trailer. Um, I think Eric Frost from New Rockstars did a good breakdown, so I'll go to that as usual. Um, other than that, not really have much, other than um, the whole Noel was like the only thing that took the win out of everybody's sales. Uh, other Marvel related stuff since I'm here. Uh, I'm currently going through almost all the number ones so far for uh, the From the Ashes era. I might make a whole X editorial just basically seeing where everyone's been since Krakora next week. Because as I said on my double review earlier uh, last week, that I'm going to be out for the rest of the week for uh, personal reasons. Mainly because my brother's bachelor party and wants to be more social. Okay, weird. But man, what are you going to do? Anyway, back on to the trailer itself. Uh, it's about what everyone's been saying online mostly of Sony probably botching yet another Spire uh, character that would be really beneficial in the MCU. Uh, go to, obviously, uh, Dando's, I think, Nando Cut when he covered it when it was new earlier this week. And uh, me personally, uh, don't want casting uh, before we get to anything when it comes to Noel. Um, if, for those who don't know, um, character-wise, he's uh, a Jason Aaron creation during the last half of his Venom run. Uh, currently, I think he's still in charge of Venom War currently in the comics. Again, let me know in the comments down below if I got that wrong. I'll leave the Storks wiki as well in case I got it wrong as well as of filming this. And, uh, trying to not do a walk-talk aside, um, yeah, that's basically the whole big pitch of, uh, Noel is that he's the god of symbiotes. Uh, a retcon of retcon of many retcons of, like, uh, Clintar slash Symbiote Lord, whichever terminology of these aliens you want to talk about yourselves uh, outside of the movies. Um, for Tom Hardy, like I said in the uh, original sh uh, trailer uh, earlier in the year, it could be worse, honestly. Um, this is like this best version of Brock. I'm probably going to say we're all going to get for a while until MCU does something about it, uh, character-wise. Outside of that, um, nothing really new stakes-wise, other than there's probably characters who were also previously in the Doctor Strange uh, MCU. Uh, the character actor, the name escapes me, Cass Angie, bound up down below. Who's just probably double rolled in, probably nothing really new there. Unless, of course, it's some last minute pull to make him, like, also, like, a, a vessel for Noel, even though he never really needed one in the comics. Again, this is Sony lore. They could botch things. This could potentially be a thing. Just keep aware of that. Calm next month when that movie drops. Speaking of other stuff, this might end up being a retro editorial. Sorry in advance if it is. Um, yeah, the Joker 2's final uh, marketing push trailers have just dropped, and. Um, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. I mean, I am gonna be Jason, uh, for that as well, and, uh, since I got Batman stuff, might as well be an extra editorial. Sorry. Um, yeah, the last couple of trailers of that looks okay. No, uh, leaks of the songs or the sequences, which, uh, is pretty good in Todd Phillips' case. Um, I think the early reviews is more courtroom drama than musical, so who really knows until that drops also later next month. And uh, for it being a dry September, I, on its last legs of being a dry September for my channel aside, uh, what did you think of my thoughts on the news? Uh, it's more sporadic, man, because, again, I wish I had time to do uh, figure forms for this whole story, so my bad in advance there. Also, if you want to dislike anything, dislike about the thin stash. That's about it. Uh, being openly honest about my facial hair aside, uh, yeah, go to this here to sub this channel to order your vacation bell down below. Uh, and Cars finally coming over here to my previous video, which was my double review for uh, the Mark, uh, not Mark, uh, Model 20, possibly 24, uh, Iron Man armor, and obviously uh, the Chip Zdarsky, uh final costume for uh, Daredevil of that arc. Uh, for the minus one wave. Other end here to possibly my already out as of uh, today of this recording. Um, my short uh, for episode 107 going into 108 for uh, Critical Role Campaign 3. Um, I, there was a lot of announcements uh, of uh, what Daggerheart's going to be outside of uh, Campaign 3 going into Campaign 4. Um, big swings also on the God side of things, which might be an editorial of itself probably next week. So with that all being said, uh, with the semi D&D &D gear, uh, out of the way. This is Richard Review saying, yeah, that was a lot of news and I did not have a lot of time to catch up. Uh, sorry for the, again, vlogging and all that stuff. It's just, uh, tight schedule. It's gonna tight schedule.